The sun is the source of energy in our planet. Most of energy we use is made inside the sun. Different devices can convert the light energy that comes from the sun into different forms of energy. Like solar-powered calculator, the solar cell inside the calculator changes the energy of the sunlight into electrical energy, which is used to operate the calculator. Other devices use remote control, like remote-controlled toys. They need energy to move and perform activities, like spinning in the corners, move in forward and backward. Batteries inside remote-controlled car are the resource of energy. It stores chemical energy. This chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. And this electrical energy is converted into sound and kinetic energy. Any movement is a kinetic energy. This kinetic energy makes the cars move and perform their activities. But what happens when the batteries of these toys run out? The car toys will stop and not working. So, batteries can be recharged by connecting the device to a nearby charger. Or you can replacing the old batteries with new ones. 54 million kilometers away from Earth, man has sent many missions to explore Mars planet. None of these missions include people, but they had robots which are operated remotely. The Mars rover Curiosity, which travels on the surface of Mars, is one of the most well-known of these robots. What is the resource of energy that Mars rover Curiosity needs to be operated? Mars rover uses batteries and solar panels. Solar panels charge the batteries because it's too distant from the Earth to recharge or change these batteries. The solar panels on the rover convert solar energy into electrical energy. This electrical energy is converted into kinetic energy and thermal energy as the rover moves across Mars' surface and do its activities. All devices have energy coming in and out of them. Any device use a kind of energy called input energy and produce another kind of energy called output energy. There is a big difference between them. The input energy is the energy that comes into the device and make it work. This energy is the electrical energy, is the common input energy in all electrical devices. But the output energy is different. The output energy is the energy that comes out or produced from the device. In this radio, output energy that comes out or produced from the device is the music. It's a sound energy. Let's take more examples. It's the hair dryer. What is the function of the hair dryer? It's used to dry wet hair. Okay. What is the input energy that gets inside the hair dryer? It needs the electrical energy to be operated. Excellent. What is the output energy that comes out from the hair dryer? Sound and thermal energy. Super. Here we have the soap dispenser. It uses another type of energy. It's potential energy. The potential energy is stored in the spring of the soap dispenser. So the input energy is potential energy. What is the output energy that comes out from the soap dispenser? It's the movement of the soap upward. Kinetic energy. Excellent. Here another example, the washing machine. Do you know what is the function of the washing machine? It uses to wash our clothes. 
What is the input energy that get inside the washing machine? Electrical energy. Great. And this is electrical energy is converted into output energy. Do you know what is the output energy? Yes, sound and kinetic energy. Great, super. Another example, electric ball. What is the function of the electric ball? Lighting. What is the input energy that get inside the electric ball? Electrical energy. And what is the output energy that comes out from the electric bulb? Light energy and thermal energy. Another device uses in lighting too. It's the flashlight. It uses the batteries too. So, the input energy of the flashlight is chemical energy. Excellent. And what is the output energy that comes out from the flashlight? Light and thermal energy. Excellent. What about the battery-powered clock? It uses the batteries, so it's a chemical energy. Any movement is a kinetic energy. The movement of the handle of the clock, it's a movement, so it's a kinetic energy. This is the handbell. It uses for alerting. And what is the input energy? Kinetic energy. And what about the output energy? Sound energy. Great. At the electric heater, we use the electric heater to warm us in the cold weather. What is the input energy that the electric heater uses? Electrical energy. Excellent. And what about the output energy that comes out of the electric heater? Thermal energy. Excellent. Now I have a question for you. When you rub your hand, do you know what energy you use? Kinetic energy. Excellent. The movement of the hand is a kinetic energy. And what is the produced energy or the output energy from your hand? Thermal energy that makes my hands warm. Excellent. Next time we will learn about energy chain. See you next time. Thank you.